turns out the Tory government is more thick than Rebecca Vardy when it comes <laughs> to dealing with WhatsApp messages. At least Rebecca Vardy and her PA, they somehow managed to lose their phone. Well, one of them lost their phone in the North Sea. The mm-hmm. other one lost the, lost all her messages, transferring them to her, her lawyer. Mm-hmm. The Tory government, they're just like, oh, I, I don't know. It disappeared on a factory reset, something yeah. that's not happened to anyone outside of the Tory government. Parents this week at the COVID inquiry by the admirably messy Penny Morden, <laughs> um, who, um, who just really does just seem to sort of like have a, I mean, a, in a very different way to Liz Truss, a sort of human hand grenade approach to to, 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 to to most matters sort of political and government. Appearing this week, she said that all her WhatsApp messages from Boris Johnson, two years of chat throughout the pandemic, had simply disappeared, mm. which is weird. Everyone else has said they lost them or they switched phones. She said they'd simply disappeared. And the strong implication here is that they disappeared because somebody deleted them. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Boris Johnson himself claimed he just lost his and they weren't deleted. And, you, and you, But even if they were deleted, you can only delete for everybody for up to 48 hours. It doesn't let you go back and no. retrospectively delete two years of messages. No. So where have they gone? Um, <laughs> Penny Morden says she asked for 14 meetings with like Downing Street to discuss this, but was rebuffed and was eventually told she'd have to pay for her own phone to be examined by cybersecurity people at a cost of, of, sort of, of like thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Hadley, what, what's, what should we be thinking here? Should we be thinking that the security services have hacked Penny Morden's phone? <laughs> or should we think she's just really, really bad at using it? Um, what I think is that what's coming out of this for me is that it turns out the Tory government is more thick than Rebecca Vardy when it comes to dealing with WhatsApp messages. At least Rebecca Vardy and her PA, they somehow managed to lose their phone. Well, one of them lost their phone in the North Sea. The mm-hmm. other one lost the, lost all her messages, transferring them to her, her lawyer. Mm-hmm. The Tory government, they're just like, oh, I, I don't know. It disappeared on a factory reset, something yeah. that's not happened to anyone outside of the Tory government. Um, my take on this is that Boris and Penny and all the rest of them should have taken a holiday to the North Sea and chucked their phones there. Yeah, I mean, it would have made more sense. I mean, Phil, I, I, like, I've never lost a WhatsApp. Like, it's harder to lose, it, it's harder to get rid of your WhatsApp messages than it is to get rid of athletes' foot. You know, it just, I mean, they, they sort of, and they they all just seem to sort of shed them with remarkable speed and ease and like, oh dear, look, whoops, what happened? Do you think, <laughs> what, what can we do about this, like, for well, the you, future? You- you need a tech expert. I'm not a tech expert. The tech experts I've spoken to said that the only way that this can happen is to someone who really knows what they're doing has deliberately erased them. Mm. Uh, this has not happened by an accident is the view that I've got. But I'm not a tech expert myself. But everyone else says that they're bound to be up in a cloud somewhere and it's a nonsense. And as I say, it's slightly amusing that the messages that appear to be lost are now appearing sequentially <laughs> when they appear to <laughs> favour yes. the government's case. So I think they will suddenly come. I, what I'm interested to see is what the... I know the public inquiry doesn't isn't supposed to attribute blame. It can criticise individuals, but mm. it's not a uh, you know uh, meeting out justice. But if somebody has deliberately destroyed evidence, that clearly could be a criminal offence. Mm. Uh, so at the end of this, in fourteen years' time, when the inquiry finally reports, <laughs> um, we might get a legal view. But I yeah. think somebody has deliberately destroyed evidence is my guess. I mean, the, the the messages that have come back, we should say, they're, they're Lord Bethel's messages, mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah. he and he um he his messages were departed because of I think he has at various points explained that he both he lost his phone, broke his phone, and gave his old phone to a child, <laughs> which is um I mean he may have done all maybe he just gets through a lot of phones, but, but very but, cleverly he he screenshotted all the messages from Lady Moon, um, <laughs> Baroness see- Moon or whatever that is. Um, <laughs> he, he kept the ones that were useful to him on, on a different thing or, or on his text messages rather than his WhatsApp. It's all the, very confusing. This was an iMessage rather than a WhatsApp. Ah, Apparently he'd never claimed to have lost his iMessages. Uh-huh. And it's very cruel of anybody to suggest otherwise in a column Who in the uses Times. iMessages? Like I, did today. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>